And first up, it is the 2010 world champion. Hello, welcome to the action. We're coming to you live from the Auditorium Grimsby. Matrim Sport proudly present the semi-finals of the PartyPoker.com Premier League Snooker. Well, it's all live on Sky Sports HD. The best of nine frames, a 25-second shot clock. The referee has missed the Paul Collier. It's time now to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, time to meet the former champion of the world, the pure funda from down under, Neil Robertson! Handshake there from Neil Robertson. Good to see you here. And I say good to see you as well because A, I'm a big fan of the way you play the game. And secondly, last week at 2 0 down to Ding, that was probably the furthest thing from your mind that you would be here with me at the semi finals. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, in some ways, uh, although, you know, it's a huge match playing in the semi finals, uh, I'm on a bit of a free shot tonight because uh, I, was, I was well and truly out of the tournament at 2 0 down and. Uh, you know, at a 3-2 as well, uh, Ding was on 50, I got a big kick on a red and um, yeah, you know, I managed to do a good clearance under pressure and <laughs> so here I am. Your opponent tonight is the new world number one, you've obviously been world number one as well, what's it like playing with that pressure? Um, there's not, well, it's, it's, it's a great feeling to play as world number one, you know, it gives uh, you know, an, an extra, extra sort of special feeling every morning, you wake up knowing you're number one. Um, and, and Judd's definitely deserved that. He's, he's been probably the most consistent winner of tournaments over the past uh, sort of two years and, uh, and definitely deserves to be there. He's flying as well, as you quite rightly say. How do you stop him then? Um, well, we've had it quite, you know, he's beat me a few times and, uh, you know, we've had quite a, quite a lot of close matches. Um, you know, the thing with Judd is he's always improving, um, you know, devastating potter and great break builder, but uh, he's, he's also got an all-round game now. He can, he can win the scrappy frames when he needs to. So, uh, you know, really tough task tonight, but um, yeah, I'll give it my best shot. Good luck. Neil Robertson, everyone. Good luck, Neil. <laughs> Neil's opponent is the new world number one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time to meet the ace, the newly crowned world number one, Judd Trump! World number one. Um, the last time we spoke, you'd just achieved that amazing feat in world snooker. Since then, you've been away. You've won another PTC. Um, how are you enjoying playing as world number one? Um, it's, it's good. Um, obviously, uh, I had a lot of confidence before I got there, so it's just helped a little bit. Um, the last four tournaments, I played good snooker, consistent, so I'm getting good results at the moment. How different is it going into every event as the favourite? I don't really take any notice of it. Um, in my mind, I'm, I'm still, I still think John Higgins, every tournament he plays in, or Ronnie would be favourite if he played in it. So I, I still kind of see myself as an underdog. I'm still young and still a lot to learn. Uh, you haven't knocked in a ton yet. You've done everything but that, to be fair, in this season's Premier League. Uh, the way you play, the way Neil plays is very similar. Are we going to have a very attacking game tonight? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Neil's obviously a great potter, so um, I think it's whoever plays the best safety really is going to win tonight, I think. If, if my long potting's good and Nils is always good, so it's going to be tough. Best of luck. Judd Trump, everyone. Thanks, Judd. Well, a quick reminder, if you do have any questions for the boys in the box, just send a tweet to at Sky Snooker. This one promises to be absolutely brilliant. They're both playing for a place in the final against Stuart Bingham tomorrow night. It's the best of nine, the first of five. Let's join our boys in the box. Mike Halliott, first up, the wonderful Clive Everton. 
It's reigning that UK reign champion first frame. versus Still reigning Trump Masters Trump. champion. Judd Trump, the new world number one, versus Neil Robertson, who's now sixth in the rankings. These two players met three weeks ago in the final of China's International Championship in Chengdu. Robertson led 8-6, but Trump won 10-8. Well, it's a great prop to the middle. And as Andy said at the top of the show, or before this match started, of course, that um, this lad here has been absolutely flying the last few weeks. So full of confidence. Eight. Mm, unexpected. Judge Trump, eight. It was. That was a, a much easier middle pocket pot than the one with which he started. It's a trademark red from Neil Robertson. Wonderful. The great Canadian Cliff Thorburn described Robertson. Three. A sensational long potter and he can grind a bit as well. Well, again, another prestigious event, semi-finals of this year's Premier Snooker League, and uh, all these boys want to win this one. Might go into them here. Great shot. If the black goes to the left corner, it's turned, uh, it's turned out perfect. Nine. And the replay showed us that he hit the pink smack on the nose which is exactly what you should do with that type of shot plenty of room for the black then so this is a wonderful early chance here for neil ten Time extension. Pretty early in the frame, but Robertson recognises that this is a, a significant shot. The black is easy, of course, but he was just debating inwardly how to play it. Seventeen. Eighteen. Twenty five. Twenty six. Might split a few more reds here. Oh, this will clear the black spot. Thirty-three. 
34. We've just under hit that one slightly. We'll have to uh, play a little cannon into something here to hold the white at the end. Be a little bit disappointed with that shot. He's nudged one out. That's okay. Got a massive kick there, and he's just uh, 42. Well, he's taken all the pace out of the white. He might have just got there with the blue. So look at this. Oh, look at the red. It took off. I think he's got some angle though here. These two play, Clive. This could be punch 47. and counter punch. Forty-eight. Put it this way: I'm expecting fast-moving frames with a lot of heavy scoring. I think he's just left himself a little bit straight on the black here. Difficult to go on to the next red. Well, he's got some angle. Wow. Well, massive bounce off the side cushion. Fifty-five. Well, this red more difficult now. There with the uh, the cue ball there tucked under the side cushion. Just made it more difficult. Yes, it was the red uh, that he was intending to be on, but not from there. Yeah, it was unlucky there. It did bounce. It was a very big bounce off the side cushion. Time extension. First glance, though, I don't think he's left anything on here for Judd. Might just play this red on the top cushion, send it around the table. Leave the white there. Oh, it's a great shot. It's played a half stun shot to get him behind the black. That was a wonderful touch. Not just a potter and break builder. He's got a full range of uh, tactical accomplishments as well. Yeah, it wasn't nice for him to, to hear from him, I should say, Clive, that he said I've still got something to learn at this game. Well, he's a level-headed player from a level-headed family. I've known them since... Uh, I've known them since uh, Trump was 10 years old when he won uh, the English Under-15 Championship for the first time. I won't be too happy the way he's played that one, though. another chance here. And he's lost the white though. One. Might be a little rolling behind the green here. Neil Robertson, one. Well, I just wonder whether he thinks that might have just drifted slightly. And he's just come out from the green. <coughs> There's a very good chance to put Judd in a lot of trouble, but they're always difficult, though, is when you're just dropping him behind the book colours, especially on these very fast cloths. It needs a perfect touch. Well, he's, he's messed up again with the safety, and where's the white? Wow. Neil Robertson he did say before they started that it could come down to the safety climb and for Judd he's not been too clever in this opening frame well I think he was attempting the red to the corner but he didn't think that whether he potted it or not he would be carrying the other red the in off leaves Robertson a very easy starter one
Well, I really expect Neil to wrap up this Four. opening frame here. In fact, this is frame ball, barring snookers. Couple of poor safety shots from Judd then that really cost him this uh, opening frame. Ten. Foul. <coughs> Neil Robertson ten. Judd Trump four. Well, I don't expect uh, that to make uh, much difference, but uh, it does at least bring the frame within reach. Two snookers needed. I can't blame Judd for playing on it. <coughs> that could have been better. <coughs> well, if you can knock one of these in, this frame is certainly over. Hang on. Foul. Oh, hang on. Jet All of a sudden, four. it's starting to get a little bit interesting. 54 the difference. 51 still on. One snooker needed. As long as Trump takes blacks with the, the remaining reds. Yes, and just look where the reds are positioned as well, around the pink spot. So, it's got to get this one though. Well, he's just overdone that slightly, if anything. Eight. We might be able to pop this into the centre and come around the back of the black. Great shot. Done with just Nine. a little bit more weight on the cue ball there, but I'm sure once he pops this black, he'll leave the final red on. Well, won't pass the pink anyway from there, so 16. Obviously, just that one snooker required. Fairly easy to hit though off the side cushion. I could have done with that red just bouncing off the cushion a little bit more so there was room to go around it. But Neil should hit this. But the pressure has just come on slightly now. Foul. Um, unbelievable. Well, I can't, um, uh, I can't believe seven. what's happened the last few minutes. Two and offs and then Free it hits on the black. Well, when your opponent needs three snookers, you don't want to help him by going in off twice. And that was a pretty easy hit for a player of um, his capabilities. Well, this would be some steal. One. And things like that, like this that happen, Clyde, can set the pattern of the match. Six. Exactly. Looks as if Trump's going to win the frame, but worse, Eight. I think Robertson would be pretty shaken to lose it from such a commanding position. Eleven. He's just trying to work out what's happened. Fifteen. Well, he should never lose a frame from that position. He knows it as well. Twenty. It's not 
as if Judd has made uh, has, has placed two or three good snookers. It's just a little, been a little bit of carelessness from uh, Ronnie Robertson. That's a great shot. Twenty-six. Wow! Again, what a steal this would be. He's missed it. Oh. <laughs> wow! Well. Judd Trump, twenty-six. Well, I must be careful not to use the word unbelievable too often. <laughs> but I used it when Robertson failed to escape from a simple snooker. Neil Robertson. And I seven. used it there. And Trump missed black for the frame. So, after all, Neil Robertson needs Judd Trump by a frame to nil. Robertson to break. Well, you can see the relief there on Neil's uh, face when he was presented with that final blow. But you don't often see that in a professional game. Uh, it wasn't, again, it wasn't as if um, Judd had laid two or three really good snookers. It was a few bad shots from Neil, but happy to get the frame on the board, I'm sure. But talking about pulling frames out of the fire, Mike, you once uh, achieved a notable feat. 44 mm. behind on the green against John Parrott in the mm. Masters semi-final at Wembley. Mm. Thank you for that. to get through to this one on the right hand side well he can he'd be going for this oh wasn't too close well Judd just a little he's a little bit all over the place at the moment hasn't really settled you know one or two really bad safety shots in the opener and great chance to pinch it miss that fairly easy black well for them it is fairly easy he's going to be able to cut this one back in into the corner can he the one just above the black not quite thin enough. Played in such a way that uh, he was intending to cover it, but the bunch, if it remained in the vicinity of the pocket. Judd still got this one behind the brown, though. Could hold the white there, cover things. I'm sure I go for the pot. Not, not often he refuses a pot, but again, not too close to that one. OK, One. the first frame went down to the black, but uh, from the three snookers required situation, Trump didn't have to do much. Robertson did, did it all for him. Trump just hasn't uh, settled yet. Eight. Well, I think you can see enough of this one now, the brown. You can't see enough of that one. Well, he couldn't. So, opted for the safety, but again, Neil he's trying to get him eight. behind the brown there. Well, he pushed the boat out there again, a little. It might prove to be costly. That's the sort of pot that, in his stride, Trump would probably get, but uh, certainly not in full stride yet. Anything but. One.
Well, and of course, all the time, Neil getting table Six. time here, and if he keeps giving him chances like this, he'll just pick him off. Seven. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. He's got the open red, but he might choose to go into them here. Got a lot of uh, Q power, this guy. Just watch the backspin here. Well, he's got one to the left centre. He might have one to the right corner, actually. Thirty. Had a quick look at that one, but now he's choosing this one to the middle. <laughs> Could have done with just running through a little bit further on this blue. I didn't think he's taking it to the corner pocket. Well, I'd be slightly annoyed with yeah, himself Robinson because 31. that was a good chance to make it 2 0. Just pulled it onto the far jaw, though. One. A chance here for Judd to get some table time, find a little bit of rhythm. to finish on top of that red. He's got this one down the left-hand side, but he was looking for the uh, the one into the right. In fact, he's OK. He can get the cue in there. Oh. Wow. Seven. A little fortunate. A potential frame-turner, that. Trump seven. Well, it's not often that you see a player of Trump's class miss a blue like that. Could only be carelessness. One. Fourteen. Fifteen. Black and one more red needed. Yeah, I might choose to try and dislodge one or two reds off this side cushion. I like to play on one. And again, it's just finished slightly in between. 22. He has had two chances there, two reds that he could have dropped on. I think he's 
taking this to the corner as well. Well played. 23. He knew he was bound to be on the pink. It's definitely going to be 2 0 now. And, uh, well, that's a massive kick. The white just stopped. And, uh, well, as we can see, the judge has been struggling here. So there's a few early warning signs for him. 2 0 behind in the best of nine. He's going to have to get his act together pretty quickly. Robertson 29 61 in front 51 on Trump thought about it and decided to play on which I think is the right choice he's unlikely to win the frame but uh, he may be able to one just get a feel of the table and uh, settle himself yeah, a, p a good point was made, Clive. It's been a while since these boys had a warm-up before we came Seven. on air for these two semi-finals. So he needs some table time. He'd miss that. Judd Trump, seven. Frame conceded. Frame Neil Robertson. <laughs> Judd Trump trails Neil Robertson by two frames to nil. As the horse racing commentators would say, Trump is yet to show. Clip off the black there, it's just uh, left things okay for Neil. I don't think Joe can get to the potting angle here, he's playing a safety. But Judd is going to have to start playing, otherwise, he's going, to, he's going to find himself in all sorts of trouble. Could take this red onto the corner, still nowhere for the black. chose to play the safety could have been better though when you play a shot like that then you wish you'd had a go at the pot that's better one Got a good angle on the brown here. Right. Judd Trump won. Well, he had to strike downwards, but uh, even so, he would uh, not normally miss a pot like that. Well, I think I've seen more misses from him here this evening in these two frames, Clive Flay, than I've seen in the last couple of weeks. And of course we're looking for reasons and it may be that uh, sitting around letting his concentration wander while the first semi-final was happening hadn't really got his mind together for the start of this match yeah possibly uh, I think but then they uh, when they get out there you know that's where the buzz is and they start to focus I understand what you're saying chance here though Black's tied right. up. So is the pink. So a little bit of work to be done here to make anything substantial. Oh. 
Just wonder whether we might play a little cannon onto the red nearest the black here. Could go down for the blue. He's had a quick check on the black. I think it does go. I think he might play this. It stun off the top cushion. It's top spin, so he's going back for the blue. Bit heavy for that. Seven. Well, he's got to be lucky here, otherwise he's landed on nothing. And I think he has been lucky. Nine. Well, this doesn't seem to be his favourite pocket at the moment. Trump nine. Robertson was wise to play that cannon on the bunch gently, Six. hoping to develop a couple more reds, but if he played it any harder, he could easily have slid off the bunch and potted this red in the same shot. And any bonus, he brought the pink into play. Seven. Well, this is about pace. I think he played for this red to right middle. Oh. Yeah. Now Robertson, 12. Thunderous kick. Just about got there, could have done with that running on another two or three inches. But this is not guaranteed, what we've seen before. Well played. Now, I wonder if there's anything on to the left corner here. I think it just depends where this pink goes, because there is a red to the middle. If this spots, that will tie that one up. It's like it's going on to the black spot. Seven. needs to make the most Eight. of this even though pink and black are tied up for the moment Struck that well. 14. Oh, another massive kick, this time for Judd. player asks 
for the cue ball to be cleaned he has to have it done in his own time doesn't affect the time limit of 25 seconds per shot 20 he's working hard for this Twenty-six. Thirty-one. Touch ball. Still got this red though, left of the pink. 32. Might have to take this to the corner instead of the intended middle pocket. Be careful with the brown though. And now is it there? Judd Trump, 32. Robertson comes to the table, 30 behind. And the reason he's not further behind is because Trump pulled that blue onto the ball cushion jaw. Judd Trump, 32. Well, that green might just pass the blue, actually, but he's having a look at the yellow. Well, that was an attempt to develop pink and black. Three. Still got this red to the right corner, though. <laughs> Not quite the yeah, fireworks that three. we were expecting. One. Needs to slow down. He snookered himself on that red near the cushion. That's unlucky. Six. <laughs> that red would have been frame ball. Trump six. Well, 43 on the table, 33 in the frame, so Neil has a chance here to pinch his third frame. <coughs> that must have run off, surely or Robertson struck the cue ball off centre. He would have been intending to double the red towards the side cushion. One. Yellow, Yellow ball. Judd Trump won. Good shot there. Put in the yellow save on the side cushion. He's got the snooker. He's got to hit this. Another 
trace aside on the white there. I thought there might be a chance of getting the sneaker behind pink and black, but a chance here now for Judd to kill off this frame. Well, he's not there yet, and there's still only 34 in the frame, 35 on the table, but he's got the snooker. I think Neil intended to hit the cushion first there. I'm not quite sure whether he's got the snooker. I think he can get through to this. It's like there's plenty of room. Well, it's not been pretty, but at this moment in time, well, Judd won't care. He's got a frame on the board. Trump won. Well, might have been a kick. Whether it was or not, the position is that Robertson needs two snookers to tie and he's encouraged to play for them because the pink and black are so close together. Not the greatest attempt to lay a snooker that time though. Only just avoided the enough in the, in the centre pocket. This is not going to be a, a roll reversal for the first frame, Clive, is it? Well, I wouldn't have thought so, but you can never tell. Might be a good chance to try and get in behind the green here. Still got two time extensions left if he wants to take them. Too wide. And he's pushed the green safe as well, which doesn't help. And in fact, I've got the scores wrong, of course. It's Judd that leads, so it's Neil that needs the snooker. So that's a little bit of a bonus there for Judd pushing that green safe. behind the pink and the black but he's got it behind the blue but this is fairly easy to hit off the back cushion I think he's got one back <coughs> if he hits this right he could get in behind the brown Well, that was his intention, but he caught the yellow on the wrong side. Should be in trouble here. Yes, good shot. When your opponent needs snookers, it's not a bad idea to snooker him if there's not a pot on. Foul. Yeah. Judd Trump, four, and the frame. That put Robertson to three snookers needed, and Robertson decided that that was too much. So Trump takes the frame, but still trails by two frames to one. This could be a very big frame in the context of this second semi-final. Sure, this young man at the table won't be best pleased the way he's played so far. Brief financial note. The two semi-final losers walk away with... Twelve and a half thousand pounds. The 
news of tomorrow's final takes 25,000 and the winner 50,000. That's in addition to the prize money that they've won at the group stage, which in Trump's case was 18,000 pounds and in Robertson's case 14,000. Well, again, you would expect Trump to pot that. One. Well, he's just done a quick look at this red at the back of the pack. It, I don't think it will pass the yellow, but he's got a perfect angle off this brown to go into them. He's played on the single red. Five. Six. Well, if you're trying to scatter these here. Just the one, then. That's amazing how the stick are that. Well, he hit the 13, end red full ball. ball, which is why that was the only red that moved. Neil Robertson, 13. outside and do it thanks Paul Collier the referee reprimanding a talkative spectator well with the red down at the other end of the table we're not going anywhere here we, with only 13 points scored there could be a possible re -rack. Unless Neil plays this sort of cushion first and kicks the red up this end of the table. It's not quite the right angle for the back heel. Well, I think two or three mil shots like this, and I think our referee, Paul Collier, will be just asking these boys because it's not going anywhere, this. It will give them another couple of shots each, I think. It's the red that's down the table, which just can't see. That's resolved the stalemate. A little fortunate not to leave the red on to the centre, but I think Judd might be able to see enough of this, which he can, to take it on to the corner. <laughs> Certainly not an easy shot. He would have preferred to have missed it by a wider margin. One. But Robertson's played that one poorly. Well, neither of them have really got to grips with the table so far. <laughs> nice have the chance to play the cross double. Three. 
Great shot. And he's got a perfect hang on the black here to split the reds. He's gone away from them slightly, but he's got a couple of pots on here. 11. Should he have been cannon in the green? 17. <laughs> Neil Robertson, 17. Still not the standard we'd hoped for. Well, this red cuts, and uh, Neil might be able to get himself onto the pink here. It's quite amazing from these two. <coughs> Both struggling. Neither of them's got any rhythm. Table, dead weight, great queuing. Eight. Nine. So far. Robertson hasn't been at his best, but he has at least been better than his opponent. Down for the blue this time. Trying 16. to, uh, I'm sure, trying to open the bunch and from that blue. Well, this could be a very important shot coming up. But that was again was a slightly big bounce there off the cushion. He's gone out of position. Just checking this left hand red, he might play the blue to the corner. Land on that one. Now he's looking at the green. <coughs> oh, that's end of break. There's nothing there. Twenty. <laughs> Tried to screw directly into the bunch. Neil Robertson, 20. And that's a great shot because he's got Judd wrong sided here, especially where the black is, and you can't clip off the left hand side because the blue is masking that. So it's just, just two cushions, dead weight. Well, I think he's under hit that. Four. 
foul. Only just. <laughs> it went a lot further than I thought it would. Neil Robertson, four. I think the cue ball was more to the left. It was more in line with the blue, actually. Right in the gap. A little bit further that way, yeah. That's about another six or eight inches or so. Because the blue was masking the left-hand side of the pack. But Judd could see the redness, the black. Probably a fraction more. A bit more. Right, right over. Yeah, that's about right now. I think Paul Collier had difficulty replacing the cue ball because he wasn't expecting to have to call a miss. Stop the clock, please. Have you got it on a replay? Can I see it on that monitor? That's useful. Show me where it was. Okay. It is over a bit here. Regardless of exactly where the cue ball was, it's still a pretty simple escape, dead weight. Got the live pictures then. Still, the referee is uh, consulting the video replay. I think, if anything, the white should be a fraction more to the right as we look at the table. I've only got the still frame, so I can't compare it. Just back a little bit, isn't it? Must be that short, right? That's pretty close now, right? Yeah. It does make a slight difference because it's the brown that's the problem here. You know, he's just got to miss the brown to be able to hit these reds. And of course he had a good angle with the previous attempt, he just didn't hit it hard enough. Okay, he's trying to... Uh, he just wants to get it right so he can judge the angle off the side cushion. And he's not actually snookered. So if he failed to make contact on room. three consecutive occasions from this position, it would be forfeiture of frame. But so far, he's only missed once. Yeah, I'm just looking yeah, at I'm these looking reds. Yeah. Looking at these reds yeah. near the black, though, Clive. Nice. I just wonder whether he can see a red both sides. I know what you're saying. But anyway, he's going off the side cushion, but be interesting if he misses it the second time. Looks a better pace. Well, that sorted that one out. I don't think he, he could hit a red full ball, but he could hit a combination of reds, which is the same is the same thing under that rule. Time extension. Two per frame per player permitted. This is Trump's first in this frame. I just wonder whether he's having a go at this red that's left of the black. Well, he did. That was very dangerous. There again. 
the sort of shot that Trump might well have potted had he been in full flight, but he's struggling. So I didn't think that was a particularly wise option to take. One. Seven. Well, that's tied the pink up again. And the black on the side cushion, so down for the blue. Eight. Hasn't come far enough. He's the wrong side of the blue. Well, Neil's just strapping this out, really, but he's having the better of it between the two players. Nineteen. Yes the post in this frame. 20. I can tell you that some wag has uh, texted 26. that uh, this match uh, could finish even later than Thorburn v Griffiths in the 1983 World Championship but uh, that was 20 to 4 so I think we're safe there. 33. Well, he's done enough anyway. 33 on a frame near Robertson. <laughs> Not a very good standard, but uh, Robertson's standard has been better than Trump's. Robertson leads by three frames to one. his worst. Well, he's got a bit to do now to get back into this match. <laughs> Neil here, just two frames away from tomorrow's final. The end red is nudged out of the bunch. But it wasn't potable. He's brought it up the table and he's left it over the centre. That definitely cuts. Well, very careless of Judd, that. One. Well, this performance from Trump has come out of the blue. He won the China International, got to the final of the UK PTC4, lost to John Higgins. Won, won the Bulgaria Open. That's pretty good going for his last three tournaments. And with the last four left in this competition, of course, this weekend, we'd already put him favourite. I think quite a few people were looking forward to a Higgins Trump final, but it might be Bingham versus Robertson.
he's got a kick and I'm not sure whether that white's gone far enough he could be snooker behind the blue having said that the red is to the right of the black there 12. and the open will go he's played on the one that's a bit further up the table he's still got a red on here he might take the risk of trying to move the red away from the black but these lines have had a lot of kicks here this evening He played on the pink, but he might have to take the blue. Eighteen. Twenty-five. Well, that again sounded very heavy, and it's only just dropped in. We're getting a lot of kicks off the blue. Mm. Of course, he didn't get the correct angle on the cue ball, which has left him slightly out of position now. I think that could be end of break. This could be just a safety. Neil Robertson, 30. gave Judd the chance to open up the black not a bad return back to the bulk area well, that one's a bit risky it's not that uh, simple to get back to the bulk area either these lads have still got two time extensions time extension. in this frame that's why he's just taken one There was a red he can come off. The the four reds together behind the pink, the right on one as we look, but he's got to avoid the black of course. I don't know what he's looking at here. It's like he might be taking a pot on. Well it was a definite uh, a pot and a an attempt at a pot I should say. But uh, he's done well there to avoid the red near the top cushion. <coughs> Well, there's no doubt, normally, Clive, Judd will be having a go at this one, but, you know, he just hasn't queued well at all well this evening. Let's see if he can pop this one in. Time extension. Taking a time extension just to give himself more time to settle. This is a massive frame for him. 4-1 behind, that's a long way back. just not been there Clive has it no not tonight
was a very good chance for Robertson to get in and uh, convert his 30 point lead into winning another frame. One. As it is, he's given Trump an unexpected chance for a counter attack. Don't tell me he snookered Six. himself. He's played on these two reds just left of the pink there, but he might have gone a fraction too far. <coughs> Obviously he has. Another great chance missed then. Judd Trump six. Only six from a good leave. At least he's played a decent safety. Time extension. So that's the second extension that Robertson has taken in this frame. Can't take any more. Just an anxious look to see whether, after all, there is something that will go to right corner. But there wasn't. Well, he's just lining up these two reds to this left corner. There's a possible plant on here, though there is distance between them. And I think he could avoid everything else as well. Quarter ball hit on the right hand red. Uh, too thin. Too thin on the second red, that was. It's not a bad cue ball, though. Cue ball could be close to the corner. Wow. Neil Robertson, four. Now, that makes all the difference, of course, with ball in hand. Not having a good time of it. Again, Robertson got the cue ball back behind the ball line in case he missed that red. Yeah, expect him to get that one though, he knocks in a high percentage of those. Now, has he got away with that? As much on the right hand side, and there's the pop success again. I mean, it was 68 88, but. Judd uh, has not put his percentage up, 68%, he's normally in the 90s. Just those two pot successes there shows you the, the way this match has gone really, it's been a little bit scrappy and uh, both of these players have struggled to find some rhythm. Yes, even 87% for Robertson is nothing to write home about. better though. One.
So Trump won. Delicate shot there. Good touch. Can't play onto this red on the top cushion. I'm going to leave him one on. There could be a glancing blow here of two cushions. He's got to be careful though. If he doesn't get this right, he could leave everything on. He's got to hurry. No more time extensions left in this frame. It's not bad. Maybe slightly hampered by the yellow. Not much though. Yeah, he's the one on the right hand side near the cushion, I think, his favourite. They're more like the ones we've been seeing him knocking in over the last uh, few months. One. The strange thing is, he would have taken the other red, but for the hampered queuing on the yellow. But he's in, and this is a good chance to claw a frame back. Bravo. That's amazing. Trump right. has got no idea why he's playing as poorly as this. <coughs> well, recovery, but again, it's no good with the keyboard. So Judge Trump six. At that angle, it was a good shot to get as tight behind uh, the yellow as that. It's got to get this one right. Could go around it. slightly thinner and he would have left the one to the right but this red is on to the left of course but there's no percentage really in taking it on there's no obvious color to play on so it's not too bad from uh, Neil's point of view Decent safety from Trump to cover everything down the right. Foul and a miss. To Trump seven. Thank you. I'm pretty sure Robertson was trying to lay the cue ball on the red which is on the black cushion I just wonder whether he thinks that the, the cushion might have just squared off a little bit and come inside that's why he caught the black on the way through he's just going to have to make the slice adjustment you can see the red for the ball yeah, yeah. <coughs> He's gone the other way this time. Too narrow. Foul and a miss. A miss has been four. called, but Judd might not take it this time. There's a red on. <laughs> it's just getting worse. Trying to just open up the pink and the blue there. When you're struggling, the balls have a funny way of conspiring against you as well. Time extension. 
So both players have taken both their extensions in this frame. Pink. Pink ball. So Trump won. Foul and a miss, Judge Trump four, yeah? Wanted, wanted to leave the cue ball smothered up against the red. Didn't want to nudge it appreciably, because uh, he could have left it on. Touching ball. Perfect. Well, in some ways it's not because it's touching ball and you could put him back in trouble here. But it was a perfect weight. Is he trying to get him behind the yellow? Just checking this three ball plant on the left hand side here. I think he fancies this. Well, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I think while well, he's looking to hit this first red on the left hand side, he's having a go. This is dangerous. Well played. He's a nice kiss. Didn't get one. Although he does have the brown to the centre. He actually clipped that red on the opposite side. I thought he was going to squeeze it the other way. So look at this. Well played. Good shot. He's going to the frame here. Could have shied away from that one. He didn't do Good chance to win the frame and make it 4-1. It looks like that uh, manufactured plant could be a very significant shot in this frame. Six. I don't expect Robertson to have any trouble in disposing of two more reds. <coughs> the one on the black cushion might present more Eight. difficulty. Nine. Twenty in front. Red, 16. black, and uh, would only need the remaining red. Wouldn't need a colour from it. I can't see him missing this either. He won't do anything silly here. With no heroics, just drop it in. Prevention better than cure. He's asked for the cue ball to be cleaned. Well, if he gets this black as well, it's a long road back for Judd Trump. Might just lay the snooker. Oh, that's not clever. He didn't either put the black safe or get the snooker. However, Trump does need a snooker. I 
wonder whether he's got the snooker. Might have just laid in behind the brown. I think um, I think Neil can see some of this yellow. It just depends whether he can see enough to pot it. But it looks like he's coming off the cushion. So that is a snooker. <coughs> Two cushion escape. Foul. Judge Trumpful. So Trump is uh, back in the frame. He can win with a clearance. Two. And despite everything, I expect him to make it. Yeah. It's another one of those frames Five. that uh, the player has not expected to win it. Three, two, and it's game on. Nine. Still needs all three, of course. Bad misjudgment from Neil, though, after that snooker. Two cushion escape. It wasn't that <laughs> difficult. This black then twenty to give Judd a chance to put himself into tomorrow's final. It looked as if Neil Robertson was going to take a four one lead, which would have put him three up with four to play. But uh, Trump obtained the snooker that he needed and uh, cleared the colours. Robertson let that last frame slip. First of all, he didn't leave st Trump snookered when he should have done. And then when Trump snookered him, he missed a comparatively simple escape. One. So will the manner of the conclusion of the last frame prove a turning point when he needed a snooker I'm pretty sure Trump would have been feeling pretty disconsolate looking at three down with four to play three. but uh, I think that having snatched that frame it's uh, put a spring in his step again It's a long time since we've seen Trump play five frames. Nine. With a top break of 32. Maybe he'll score more substantially at this visit. Ten. Twenty-six. Thirty-one. 
32. No luck. Thirty-seven. <laughs> Judge Trump, thirty-seven. Oh, we've been in the midnight oil, Clive. It's been a while since we've said that. Well, I haven't actually heard the, the chimes at midnight, but, uh, well, it's one minute past. And quite a way to go in this match. Robertson needs two frames. Trump needs three. Now will he be tempted with this red on the right hand side here? Well, it was close. Well, again, I think he felt he got a big bounce off the cushion here. There's been a lot of kicks. I think they've been really struggling with the, the pace of this table. It's very fast. Because sometimes, if you haven't got the confidence the no. the table is playing, it just put you out of sync a little bit. Cloth is beautiful, it's just been there's been one or two 16. bounces off cushions which weren't expected. 17. <laughs> Twenty-three. Black and one more red. <coughs> and it's three apiece. And this all of a sudden it seems that Judd is starting to become well, he's come alive a little bit 30. here. Thirty-one. Picking up some momentum, certainly. When he needed a snooker in the last frame, it looked as if he was going to be 4-1 down, but now 38. it looks uh, virtually certain that he's going to level at 3-all. He plays right-handed, <laughs> and uh, he plays pretty well. Easy game, this, isn't it? Blue to try and split them.
Well, with a little bit of help from the black. Forty-four. Forty-four on the frame, Judge Trump. So with breaks of thirty-seven and forty-four, Judge Trump keeps Neil Robertson scoreless. Well, it's the best of three. And the momentum is with Trump because he's won the last two frames. The first of those from the unlikely position of needing a snooker. Yes, that 3-1 behind. His body language was not good, was it? It's better now. Be a chance of a red here to the left middle. He can drop onto the black. And Neil might look at a cross double here to left middle. Play. If anything, he's just brought the white back a little bit too far. Could have done with more angle on this black. He might be able to get down for that red in the right middle, but not much angle there. Oh, just look at the cue power. Well, it's not bad. He has the red to the corner. Eight. And eight. Just put it on the board, cushion jaw. I just wonder whether Judd might play this on the thin side, try and scatter the pack with this shot. You never know sometimes. I mean, the shot to play is get on a colour, but. There you go. I just fancied him to play that, but just depends where the white finishes. One. Well, you could say he's on the black. Yeah, he took a slight risk, though. He tried to scatter them. Hopefully, he'll land on a colour somewhere, but didn't work out. I was surprised that he did that because uh, it was easy one. enough to leave an angle on the colour to scatter the bunch. Yeah, the frustration has set in a little bit, I think, Clive. I know he's three all, but the frustration as much that he knows he hasn't played at his best. Neither player has actually, to be honest. Cushion first. Only one half century break in six frames. Touching ball, both threads. It's not touching that one. No, there is a gap, it's touching the first one. Great attempt. That was just a safety, in case you were wondering. <coughs> I 
Well, I think he's going to try and get the white back to the top cushion. He's just concerned. Ah, oh, well, first of all, about the time. <laughs> yes, he was wondering whether if, what, what would have happened if he split them. Ball. Again, it is a touching ball, so in behind the, the black then on the top cushion. Again, if they start, uh, the two lads start tip tapping, we could be in for a re rack. It's been to that part of the match that they want, neither want to give anything away. Uh, I think probably a couple of more shots on here, and then our referee, Paul Collier, might just have a word with him. He's left a little tempter on here. There's a quick shot of our referee, Paul Collier, but I think Judd might be taking this on. He likes these. Great shot. One. Well, he struck that beautifully. He's got some angle on this blue. Just wonder whether you can avoid the pink here with top spin and right hand side. Yes, he can't get into them direct. Oh, he's going the other way. He's going to take uh, play the red at the other end. Time extension. Time extension taken. Well, he needs a good angle on this red here, or from this red I should say, on one of the bulk colours to get into the pack. Three. Four. Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, Trump uh, believed he got a, an unduly springy bounce there which is why he's the wrong side of the blue. Could take the brown. Brown ball. More difficult pot, more difficult to open the bunch. Well, there was a great effort. Eight. John Trump, eight. <coughs> well, Judd knew that he hadn't quite got the, uh, the snooker there, but that's still a great pot. One. There's no pack opener on from here though. Neil Robertson one. And of course no advantage gained there really with the pack being so tight. Is that touching? Touch him more. Yes. He really wants to make sure that he doesn't get the snooker here. Just leave Judd a shot at the red so he can split them. Don't make this too good. There you go. Now it could get interesting. 